glitch it fix be good just to just muck around on um, you can use this um, as your title your, you know whatever you like I'm just gonna grab a text gonna type in arxq chuck that in the middle and what I'm gonna do here is just name this text layer the color that I'm gonna use I'll duplicate this layer three times uh, two times actually let's say control J and control J one more time we're just going to change these names so we know which is which. I'm going to use the same colors that I showed you, that neon blue and neon pink. So now we've got the colors, so I suggest have the black on top and your neon colors at the bottom. To change colors, we're just going to double click on the T icon on layers. And then we're just going to go up to this color picker just up top. one of the colors we're going to move to the left slightly and with the other color we're going to move to the right slightly okay now we're just gonna um, we're going to create some white spaces between our ticks instead of erasing it we're just going to go over it with the color white so we're going to create a new layer above um, arxq black ticks and then we're going to grab the paintbrush and select the color white. Now we're just going to create gaps between each text. How, how do you guys think? Looks all good? Well, the white spaces are done. They're all good. Now we're just going to add those extra colors to it. Create a new layer and make sure it's under the arxq black we're going to do the pink first just flicking it to the side Street Fighter that's the pink uh, it's getting better now we're just going to do the last detail and what we're going to do is just do the blue side but we're going to go the opposite way instead of going right we're going to go left And there we go, Fido. Pretty simple, fast, and that's your glitch effect done.